What's going on ladies and gents? Uh, this video is going to be a tutorial about setting up Instagram ads. I know I made this, uh, I said I was going to do that like about a month ago, just haven't gotten around to it, just been crazy busy. Anyways, let's get right on to it. So what you're going to do uh, is head on over here to this little triangle down here, head on over to create ads, and just a heads up, uh, some of the stuff I'm going to be sharing, you know, I'm, it, this is the assumption that you already know how to say, set up Facebook ads through the power editor or the ads manager. Uh, so, so there might be some technical stuff you might, uh, m might miss, hopefully not. And hopefully, uh, going through this, you get to, you understand. So objective, again, this is the parts where I'm assuming that you already know what it is. Uh, so, uh, whether it's post engagement where you're just trying to bring brand awareness or get people a little bit more interested about who you guys are or if you're looking for to actually track conversions in terms of sales uh, pick whatever you want to choose the one I mainly use for brand awareness you know like, like there's this is perfect for people who don't know who you are you're trying to get them interested in who are uh, your studio your workshop or whatever it is like you know ahead of time okay so I generally pick this one post engagement this is like uh, boosting your posts but better so campaign name um, I generally uh, because I work with a lot of clients I generally I name it with the, the clients I'm doing or in this case you can name it for the purpose of it so you say so you can just can be workshop so you have a workshop you're coming up on temp hip-hop whatever they may be audience um, I'm not gonna go too much into this because I, I covered this into in a previous video so make sure you can check that out. So I'm, I'm just gonna make this simple. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna put it in a random location. I'm gonna put it in San Diego. And if I have the address, that that would be much better. But I don't, so I'm, so I'm just gonna make it like that. So you can put the exact address. I'm gonna put it within a 10 mile radius. Uh, ages. I'm aiming for the parents, so I'm going to go with 25 to 45, maybe like 49, okay. English, which is just arbitrage, and not arbitrage, uh, random things I'm putting in. Uh, things that you to consider when it comes to, put, uh, when it comes to uh, setting up your ads. So again, I covered it in a previous video. Uh, Make sure to check that out. So here's the part that you guys are uh, looking for. Head on over here, uh, automatic placements. You want to edit the placements here. So edit placements, and you can that's where you can change it up. Facebook feeds, the right column. Generally, don't do that because those are that's uh, that's pretty much the, the ads on the right side. Not really good for you know really trying to get the attention, especially since we've been so conditioned to ignore it. So the feeds and Instagram, you want to have make sure that's uh, that's you know obviously checked. Daily budget. I generally go with the daily budget because uh, I want my ads running all the time, and I go for like a good three four days. You know, uh, not uh, too long because you know you don't want to unless you want to or like if you don't want uh, if you don't want a schedule, you can just leave it as daily budget. Sorry. Uh, you can set it have an end date or not, or you can just have it keep running and add it for 11 uh, or $10 a day. You don't want to go the insanely high budget uh, right off the bat because um, your money is going to get sucked up dry, especially if you don't know what you're doing. That's the equivalent of you know just throwing it against the wall and hoping that it works. So I, my method and philosophy is you want to start off small, see uh, to see how big of a reach you can get, and this is obviously. Um, this is a great way to understand um, who's reacting and who's interacting uh, with your with your posts. Anyways, um, so you can set a end date or not. So I generally go for about three four days. Gives me an idea of how people are reacting to my posts. So so it's generally if you're willing to spend twenty bucks on advertising, this is way better than a TV commercial or a billboard or printing a lot of pic uh, a lot of ads or a lot of flyers that most people probably throw away so that's a name just gonna leave that as is page post so here so does all my clients are here uh, I'm just gonna go to mine 
you uh, from here, if your Instagram uh, account isn't uh, integrated or isn't connected, there's going to be an option right here to connect it. All you'd have to do is click it, uh, to, is click it, input your your login information, and you'd be good to go. And then uh, from here, you can you'd select the page post. So you see, notice this is unpublished. You can schedule if you don't know all that already. Already, you can schedule your posts ahead of time on um, on Facebook, and uh, but just because it's scheduled doesn't mean you can't use it as an ad. So uh, say I have this one random uh, post that I want to share. Okay, it's unpublished, and then once that's done, uh, double check everything that's good to go, and place order. And that's how you uh, easily set up an Instagram and Facebook ad. Um, just make sure that if you're going to be sharing a video, it is within a minute, because um, otherwise there's going to be a, a red, uh, a red, uh, a warning saying that your video is an in, in, in eligible for Instagram. So make sure it meet, does meet those parameters for Instagram and uh, images. Um, uh, anything with text on this. You want to keep it to a minimum uh, because the more text you have, the uh, the less likely it's going to be effectively advertised. And yeah, that's it. So if you if you do want to just focus on Instagram, okay, uh, you will you just uncheck Facebook completely, and I'll have Instagram. But I generally like to capitalize on the fact that I'm using 20 bucks and I'm really you know taking advantage of the network here. So see that that overall reach, that's pretty good. For just for 20 bucks and I just ran this recently uh, for my fiance and her uh, online business and she this was this was just off the first day and a half so uh, and I know the likes don't generate the whole don't generate dollars but this is a great way of building brand awareness so I hope that helps and uh, give you insight in creating Instagram ads using the Facebook uh, ads manager uh, there is another way that you can do it through Instagram itself um, I'll do that a tutorial for another day but this is just one way to do it I think I personally think this is a million times more powerful than doing it on on the Instagram uh, app itself because it ha there's a lot more flexibility and control so yeah got any questions feel free to leave me a comment and talk to you guys later